My final top tip also relates to localizing a problem to the spinal cord or the neuromuscular system, and that is to use the degree of muscle tone, bulk, and whether or not there's any muscle atrophy to help localize the problem to being an upper motor neuron lesion or a lower motor neuron lesion. So in the last tip, I introduced the concept of using an upper motor neuron weakness or determining a lower motor neuron weakness to help tell where in the nervous system, specifically the spinal cord and the neuromuscular system, that you have the lesion. The other way of doing this uh, is to assess the muscle tone and bulk, which is what we're going to go through in this tip. So here we have um, a, a Liam Berger. He's nine years old uh, at the time this video was made and has a five year history of a progressive gait abnormality. And uh, we can see in this dog now, you'd be forgiven for thinking that the animal may be a taxic, but actually he is weak. Um, and he has this characteristic gait where he hitches his hip up and flicks the limb forward. And this is an absolute classic gait for um, a neuropathy. However, I'm sure the first thing that you noticed about this Liam Berger was that he had very skinny legs. He has muscle atrophy. So without even knowing that he has um, a, a, a problem with his neuromuscular system, we already get that impression. And here we are doing his spinal reflexes. And we can see that he has an absent patella reflex, failure to flex the hock on the withdrawal reflex, and also has an absent cranial tibialis reflex. So, but when we look at the, these aspects in more detail, we can see that when he stood, he had a very narrow based stance and a slow walking speed. This dog also has a history of difficulty rising and doing stairs, and he has a poor exercise uh, tolerance. Um, the, uh, we can see that the limbs are, have a lot of muscular atrophy, and we actually have this scapular winging, which I talked about before. We can see the scapula are pointing out um, higher than the rest of the back when the dog is standing. And this dog is so weak, he has to put all of the limbs underneath his body at once. We had reduced tail tome. In this dog, we have very straight hocks, quite characteristic of this particular uh, disease, which many of you will have recognised as Leonberger polyneuropathy. And then we have that gait. So we have this characteristic weakness in the, in the lower limb in this neuropathy. There, again, the, the weakness is more apparent distally, which is very common in, in, in a neuropathy. Um, and we get this, this uh, hitch of the of the limb so it's lifted higher at the hip uh, and the stifle and then they flick it forward um, uh, very characteristic for this gait and then um, uh, we may have also in the history if you remember from top tip number one um, we need to ask about the dog's voice or the cat's voice so this dog has dysphonia and strider um, uh, in this disease variable dysphagia and regurgitation uh, reduced spinal reflexes and inability to flex that hock, which is the withdrawal reflex, uh, and then this pronounced muscle atrophy, which in this dog uh, also affected his head, which is perhaps difficult to see if you're not used to Leonberger's. Uh, and we we, um, we have a couple of his his friends uh, in here, and a much more normal male uh, Leonberger there. And I have to thank uh, the owners of. Um, this wonderful chap for allowing me to, to use these videos. Finally, we need to use risk factors to narrow down the uh, differentials. And uh, in one of the earlier tips, I showed you a Burmese cat walking. Um, and uh, I didn't tell you what was actually wrong with that cat. If you stay through right through to the last tips, um, I can tell you that this cat had hypokalemic polymyopathy, which is an inherited condition in the Burmese cat and is diagnosed by a simple genetic test. And so just by observing this cat, but also um, by, uh, uh, well, frankly, Googling the breed, we can narrow down our uh, differentials. We don't want to go down a rabbit hole and always assume that because it's a Burmese cat, it must be this. 
But in this case, um, diagnosis was made with a very simple genetic test that cost only um, a, a fraction of the price of a full workup um, that would be required for a neurological um, disease. Um, and that concludes my seven top tips. Thank you very much for listening. Catch you at the next video.